The first step to using NumPy is learning how to create some arrays. So let's go ahead and we'll just get started with that. Um, I'm at the terminal, the command line here, and I'm going to start an interactive Python session just by typing Python. Here it shows me my Python version and I can see that, that I'm running Python now. So what I'll do is I'll import uh, NumPy as NP. And the first thing I want to do is just create a simple array, and we'll just call it A. And I create it by doing A equals NP dot array, and I'll give this array a value of 1. Now if I print out A, you can see I just have this value of 1 here. Okay. Now we might think that, let's say I want to make a, an array, we'll make it a one-dimensional array, A1D, uh, that has the values 1 and 2 in it. You might think we'd do np array 1, 2, and that'll give us an array with the values 1 and 2, but we get an error. What we need to do is we need to wrap the values in square brackets. So we'll do np.array 1, 2, close the square brackets, and if we do a1d, you can see we now have an array with the values 1 and 2. So a 1D array is just going to be a, a long list of values. Uh, we can do more values if we want to. We could do A1D equals NP array. Um, let's just go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Cut those backwards. Square brackets parentheses. Enter A1D and we have this array, a single variable that has the values 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 stored individually. Now these 1D arrays only contain one row of values. Let's say we want to have an array, a 2D array, that has two rows of values. We can do that simply by doing a2d uh, equals np.array. And what I'll do here is each row is enclosed in square brackets and separated by, com by a comma and the whole array is enclosed in square brackets. So that first bracket that I just typed is is opening the entire array. The second one is opening a row. So this row is going to contain the values 1, 2, and 3 and I'm going to close that row and I'm going to start a new row which will also contain the values 1, 2, and 3 and I'll close that row and I'll start a new row and I'll open a new row, which also contains the values 1, 2, and 3, and I'll close that row, I'll close the entire array, and I'll close the parentheses for the NP array function. I'll hit enter, and I can print A2D, and you now see that I have this array with three rows and three columns. It's two-dimensional. Okay, now another type of array we can create is a three-dimensional array. Now, a three-dimensional array is like stacked 2D arrays. So it has rows, columns, and layers. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So if we do a 3D equals np.array, we're going to open brackets for the entire array. Now what, this, what we're going to have is we're going to have, once again, each row will be in square brackets separated by a comma. But we're going to have layers which are in square brackets separated by commas also. And these layers are made up of multiple rows. So this next square bracket is going to open a layer, and this third square bracket opens a row in that layer. So one, two, three, close the row. Open a row, one, two, three, close the row. Open a row, one, two, three, close the row. Close the layer, start a new layer, open the layer, open a row, one, two, three, close the row, open a row, close the row, open a row, close the row, close the layer. Now let's do one more layer. So we're going to uh, start a new layer, open the layer, open the row, one, two, three, close the row, open a row, one, two, three, close the row, open the row, one, two, three, Close the row, close the layer, close the array, 
close the function. Okay, let's hit enter. Appears to work correctly. Now we'll type A3D, and you can see here that we have uh, an array that has three rows, three columns, and three layers. And that is how you can create uh, one, two, and 3D arrays in NumPy. In future videos, we will get more uh, into how to use these arrays for analysis and how to automate their creation. Thank you for watching.